how is it to go? One night out to there, everybody. This is Jordan Jones. We're, uh, we're going to start a new playthrough on the channel. A playthrough on a Nintendo Switch game. That I've been wanting to do myself. I decided to take a little bit of a break from my Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild playthrough. Um, because I'm kind of stuck in an area where I can't even figure out what to do. But I'll probably go back to that playthrough eventually. It might be a while before I go back to my Breath of the Wild playthrough. Let's do some Super Mario Odyssey for the Nintendo Switch. We're going to be using the Fun Gamer profile. The one that has the, the Donkey Kong logo. And there we go. Super Mario Odyssey for the Nintendo Switch. It's the playthrough we're going to be doing right now. If you guys give me a favor and drop a like on this video, I would really appreciate that. And let me know down in the comments below for question of the video. What are your opinions on this game? Is it one of your favorite Mario games? Is it your favorite Mario game or do you not like it at all? Just let me know down in the comments below. I've actually already played on this file, so I'm going to go and click on the new game button so I can start from the beginning. You have, you have start and you have start in assist mode. Why do they give you assist mode? Because Mario games are usually pretty easy, so most Mario games will not have assist mode. Because Mario games are generally on the easier side, so we're going to click start and enjoy this cutscene. In the skies above Peach's castle. Oh my goodness. So basically you have to use the R joystick, which is the right joystick to move around. And you press the A button to jump. It says to press the B button. I prefer the A button. You can do that long jump. You can do that dive. You can do that running around. You can do that long jump. You can do that dive and that backflip. You can long jump. To long jump, you just have to hit the ZR while you're pressing A while running. And then... You can do the triple jump by jumping three times in a row. You can do that ground pound by jumping in the air and hitting the trigger button. And you can do that backflip. And you can do that dive. To dive when you're in the air, it's kind of weird how you have to dive. You have to press the ground pound button and then press the X button. So just telling you guys a little bit of the controls. Just showing a little bit of the controls first about how this game works. Pretty self explanatory controls. So sorry for running away like that. You startled me, and I do startle easily. I saw what happened earlier. You've been through quite the wing ringer. What did that mean? You've landed in the Cap Kingdom. We've been under attack by the same monster that gave you such a trouncing. And to make ma the matters worse, the, the fiend has kidnapped my little sister. I'm just 
read the dialogue right here on the screen. I hope to get to give chase to that monster in a ship of my own. Excuse me. Unfortunately, all of our airships were wrecked in this attack. In the in the attack. Although now that I think on it, I'm fairly certain that there is a functioning ship in the next kingdom over. I could get oh, get get us there if I could only reach to the top of that hat. I'm not gonna read all this, but I thought I'd read some of this just to, just for the beginning of the playthrough. I'll read some of this. <laughs> Oh, that hat is too big. Not your style. Really, really hyped about doing this playthrough. Watch this. Cappy is now your companion. Basically, here's how you use Cappy. My favorite thing about the game is Cappy, pretty much. You just have to press the X button to throw Cappy like this. You can also shake your controller if you move it up, you can toss Cappy up. If you ground pound and then do Cappy, you can just throw it towards the ground, like I'll demonstrate right here. While standing on top of this. Ah. Darn it. Just kind of telling you a little bit of the controls. Easy controls. These controls are pretty easy. Wow. You just have to go this way. And now I have to hit that switch. Why would they attend Bowser's and Peach's wedding in this game? I don't know why. But I love this game. This game is really, really awesome. Now we'll go in here. Top Hat Tower. Inside the Top Hat Tower. Here we go. Now we're going to do this. Watch this. You captured a frog. Really hyped about doing this playthrough. Like I said, this game is really, really awesome. Definitely one of my favorite games in the series, like 30 Mario games. You can hold the y X button to dash when you have that. You can shake the controller and do a high jump or do a regular jump and just press A. That's all you do with the frog suit when you capture the frog. Keep in mind, if you go up here, you can get yourself a double HP. Because you can only take up to three hits before you die, but these first couple missions are going to be really easy, so you don't really need it for the first couple missions because they're going to be really easy. Because Mario games are usually on the easy side, anyway. So, we're going to our first boss right here. Dive here! Dive into it. I thought I'd do that as a cool victory thing. Alright. Here's the brutals right here. And here is the easiest boss in the game. This boss is so easy. Basically what you have to do is knock all the hats off right here. And then just ground pound him. You don't have to grab the ground pound him or just jump on him either one where you prefer. I sometimes like to do that. Oh my gosh! I was like, we got hit here. And ground pound for the win. Epic win. I 
I'm really, really hyped about doing this playthrough, like I said. Now we just have to possess this. And we do this to go on to the next kingdom of Super Mario Odyssey for the Nintendo Switch. The background looks gorgeous, don't you think so? I really hope they make a sequel to this game. Like, I would like to see a sequel to this game. Because this is a game I grew up with as a child. Of course, it only came out like four years ago when I was a child then. And I'm finally an adult now, and I've only been an adult for a year. Because 18 and older is an adult, and I'm 19 years old now. Go across the power lines, wow. This is like real life creature stuff. It's awesome. Our first power moon. Pretty self explanatory right here. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna try to get the first power moon. Which is really easy to get. The majority of the story mode is pretty easy to go through. As long as you know what you're doing. Alright, you just have to possess that chain chomp and do that to get the first power moon and we're gonna do an awesome victory. Watch this. I'm gonna dive into it like this. Every time we collect a power moon, is, and every time we collect like a power moon or a multi moon, that's gonna be our victory screen every single time. Multi moon or top the falls. Our, our victory screen, every time we collect one of those collectibles, is gonna be that. We're gonna dive into it like that. Because I love the dive mode so much. You can also do this. You can throw Cappy and dive onto Cappy like this. Just kind of tell you the controls a little bit, just in case if you're watching this playthrough for some reason that's a guide. In just in case you're stuck about how to do stuff, or just in case you're just having trouble, but alright guys, that's it. Thank you very much for watching, guys. If you did enjoy, don't forget to drop a like and have a good one. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace.